Hi, welcome to Volatility 411. I'm Russell Rhodes from the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. We're going to deviate a little bit today and I'm going to talk about the VIX index and what it is, why it behaves the way it does, and why people shouldn't get overly excited about uh, when it behaves in a way that they don't expect. So first off, VIX, it is a consistent measure of 30-day implied volatility as gathered from SPX option prices that are trading in the pit behind me. It smooths it out, comes up with a consistent 30-day measure of an implied volatility. Now, what drives VIX is either demand or supply of options, again, in the, pit, in the pit behind me, where maybe more sellers are showing up for SPX options and pushing the price down a little bit. That will result in a lower VIX. And conversely, if we see extra demand for SPX options, that's gonna push VIX a little bit higher. Now, finally, the thing that gets people excited is when VIX is moving up, when the S&P 500 is moving up, or they're both moving down in line with each other. That happens about one out of every five days. So 20% of the time we have this small anomaly and it occurs because market expectations are a little bit different relative to what maybe the market's doing that day. For instance, if the S&P 500 is selling off and you're seeing SPX option implied volatility go down as well, there's probably a few more sellers of options in the marketplace than buyers and that's pushing VIX down. So when we see the two move in line with each other, it's not something you get terribly excited about. And just remember that VIX is a measure of expected volatility and what's coming in the future may impact those volatility expectations. So with that, I'm Russell Rhodes and that's your Volatility 411.